service if you'd like, or you can leave them to be delivered to people that are shut in and not able to, to come to service. Um, either way, and there's also a place you can check to help with delivery of those Easter lilies too, so lots of ways you can become involved. Um, just a note about the um, administrative team, we want to welcome our new Growth and Good News team leader, and maybe she'll come up here with her board, Sue Bartz. And um, she is filling a vacancy left by Bill Bennett, who is not gone. He just has enormous work responsibilities. And so he has turned um, the team leader position over to Sue Bartz, who is right here. She <laughs> 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 is the one who steps in whenever anything is needed. And so we are really grateful that she's here today. So let's give Mikey the choice. And she does it. <laughs> um, while she's up here and with the school board, I want to talk just a minute about the transition team. Um, they are making wonderful progress. As you know, our beloved pastor is retiring in June, and there is a formal process of bringing in an interim pastor, and then later our, we'll hire a new pastor. 
And some of that is outlined in this pamphlet that was very well done. Whoever did this, thank you for putting this in. Lisa Rogers. Lisa Rogers did this, so we thank her for that. And um, there is information about the steps that we're taking to find our interim pastor, the progress that we've made right now. Already, we've already um, reviewed educational materials from UCC. We've met with John Dorhauer, our conference minister. We've created an interim minister position description, and we've sent that position description to John Dorhauer. So we're well on our way to finding somebody to help guide us. And this is a, a difficult time for any church and a wonderful time for any church for opportunity to become involved. And there are ways that you can become involved in here that are outlined. So I encourage you to look at this, and also if you have any questions, Write your question on here, put that in the operatory, and someone from one of our team leaders will get back with you and help all of us together through this transition. And uh, for those of you who like interactive things, uh, this little brochure actually has a way for you to play along. <laughs> you too, you too can fill in your own comments to match what we have on our board here, what we've accomplished today. So you too, on this side, <laughs> can enter your own little comments to see how far we've come. And also, I just want to encourage all of you to pray for the possibilities. This is a very exciting time for us. And um, we're going to have good news about things going on all the time. It won't always be easy. This is going to be a very interesting period of time for us. And it won't always be easy, but it's going to be exciting and it's going to lead to good things. So, again, look forward to hearing from you, hearing your suggestions, your ideas. And I would like to remind folks that when you have ideas, it's a really good idea to also have an idea about how to make that work. Um, <laughs> here, here. <laughs> we get a lot of suggestions and a lot of ideas and no clear way of how to enact all of them. So anybody that has a great idea, I highly recommend that you also have some suggestions on how we might make it happen. Um, it's kind of like the story of the little red hen. You know, everybody wants to have a cake, but nobody wants to help bake the cake. Everybody wants the wonderful church and the wonderful new minister, but people are a little reluctant maybe to jump on that bandwagon. But it's a great way to involve yourself. You become way more vested in the process when you are involved. I will tell you that absolutely. Whether you're planning a potluck or looking for a new minister, being part of the process makes you way more invested and way more satisfied by the results. Mm -hmm. So I expect to see people crowding to be a part of this team. <laughs> <laughs> We'll bring this over to Pilgrim Hall for you to look at. Thanks. <coughs> a couple other quick announcements. Um, an important announcement. One, the Call to Care Coordinating Council will be meeting next Sunday, March 25th. And they have a, what looks like a great speaker, Lane Perdue, Pastor Lane, Reverend Lane Perdue. And she's with NAMI. And she's going, and NAMI is the National Alliance of Mental Illness. And it's one of the, probably the largest grassroots organization for mental illness. Um, and she's going to be speaking on NAMI faith net programs, which sound very intriguing. So I encourage you to come to that. It will take place at noon after church next Sunday. And it's a potluck, so bring something to share. Okay, we got the lilies, we got the this, we got this. I think we're almost done. Um, one more thing on the, uh, what Sue was talking about with the interim minister. There's some questions here, too, so I encourage you to look at that. And also, to take a look at this um, flyer on the book club. Um, that's going to be starting on the 20th. And the book that, they're, that they'll be looking at is What Jesus Meant by Gary Wills. And that's always an interesting group to join, too. So lots of ways you can become involved. And one that I just want to mention quickly on a personal note is the Bible study that's held on Thursdays in, during the day at 10.15 and also in the evening, I believe, at 7. Is that right? 15. 7.15. 7 
And um, I'll just share a little personal experience I had with the Bible study. I started off taking my mother because to the Bible study because I thought she would enjoy it. <laughs> And I got hooked. It was not like any Bible study I'd been to before. It made the Bible come alive for me. And, um, and in a way that we talked about the history during that time of different, uh, what was going on in the culture, uh, how the, what the message is and what the story is. And um, what I found was a way to interpret the Bible that was meaningful in my life right now in this moment. And um, the group that I was in was full of people that were um, sharing stories about their lives, sharing some scholars, biblical scholars, people who really had a lot of background, and some people who were like me, who were new to Bible study. And it was, it's a wonderful experience. And it's not stuffy. Anything that says study at the end is not real appealing to me. <laughs> but this Amen. is more of a vital experience. And I encourage you to try it out on either of those times on Thursday. And I think you also will be um, pleased. So with that, I invite you to um, join me in worshiping God. Good morning, First Church. Good morning, Father. Will you join me in our unison centering prayer, which is on the cover of your order of worship. Loving God, look at us with love and open our hearts and hearts so we may let go of distractions and obstacles and follow you to the springs of life, eternal joy. Make this time a holy moment when we sense your spirit and get caught up in your grace and become more prepared to serve you in your world. Amen. Thank God for such marvelous love. 
for such miraculous mercy to God's children. Offer thanksgiving sacrifices. Tell the world what God has done. Sing it out. Sing it out indeed. Let us sing together our first hymn, 198, Lift High the Cross. followed by the Lord's Prayer. And as is the custom at this church, when we come to the Lord's Prayer, will you please join hands with someone near you? Let us pray. Gracious God, source of wisdom and insight, we know you see us as we are, and we know how often we try to pretend we are something we are not. We put other people down so that we can look better. We stretch the truth of our accomplishments and push our failures on to others. We sometimes pretend to listen, but constantly seek our own advantage. Loving and forgiving God, help us not to shrink from your gaze. Give us the courage to put our trust in you. Raise us from the paralysis of fear and guilt into the freedom and energy of those who know we are loved and forgiven people. Set us free from pride and arrogance and bring us home. We pray in the name and the word of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. challenge, some new uh, task for justice, and we've been avoiding it because either we're afraid that we might fail at it, or afraid of what people might say, or afraid of what people might do to us for standing up for others, then let us pray that the God who gives us the call will also give us the courage to act. Let's be in silence. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayers. Thank you for loving us enough to listen. And thank you for hearing the prayers even of our hearts. We ask them all in the name of Jesus, and we ask that you fulfill them in your way and in your time. Uh, we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Please stand as you're able for the words of assurance. And listen for these are words we may trust. The psalmist says, as far as east is from west, that's how far God casts our sin from us. And the Lord Jesus Christ says, For God so loved the world that he gave his Son, that whoever believes should not perish but have eternal life. For God sent the Son into the world not to condemn the world, not to condemn any of us, not to condemn anyone, but that all the world, all of it, might be saved. This is the great good news of the gospel. Forgiven people we are. Forgiven people, given the Holy Spirit, God on the inside, for a fresh start, a clean start, not just today, but every single day of our lives. Thanks be to God for this amazing and wonderful and happy good news. Forgiven people. Amen. 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 As a sign of our forgiveness from God, let us share a sign of peace with one another. The peace of Christ is always with you. It's also with you. Share a sign. Peace be with you, Robert. Thank you.